All right, welcome back to the special edition of Hannity. One of the many scandals surrounding the Biden family is Joe Biden's refusal to acknowledge what is his seventh grandchild, which is finally making headlines. The media is finally caught up to us, but still being ignored by many on the left. Here's what Congressman Eric Swalwell told Fox News Digital when asked about the scandal. Listen. Do you think the president should acknowledge his seventh grandchild? Yeah, I'll, I'll leave your personal family matters to you, and I'll leave the president's family matters to him. Oh, just family matters. Yeah, I'm sure he'd say the same thing about Trump. Anyway, here with Reaction, senior fellow at the Hoover Institution, Victor Davis Hansen. You know, I know in light of cocaine at the White House, and I know in light of the Biden family syndicate and all the revelations we're finding out about and the sweetheart deal that Hunter got, maybe this doesn't seem like a big deal for people. Uh, Victor Davis Hansen, it's a big deal. This four-year-old little girl, the circumstances surrounding her birth should mean nothing. This is her, her, her biological grandfather's the president. To me, it's just cruel. Your take. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, usually we, we, leave, we leave these to be private matters, but the Bidens were very different with Hunter Biden, Sean. When you had a Don Nixon or Roger Clinton or Malik Obama that had these problems, they were kept away from the White House. And so Hunter was not kept away. He was brought into the inner circle, and therefore his own problems became part of the presidency. And Biden, then the Biden trademark, as we hear from Joe, was the Biden family solidarity. That if you were, uh, remember we were told that the word of a Biden is solid gold. And so we were heard Biden family, Biden family, Biden family. Well, this, this poor girl is a member of the Biden family. And so they brought this issue into the White House by bringing Hunter in. And then we have the other element that the left always lectures on the children. Nancy Pelosi couldn't finish a sentence that we're doing this for the children. We're the party who cares about the innocent and vulnerable children. Well, this is an archetypal case. There's a girl who didn't choose her father or her mother. She came into this world as a human being, and, and she's got a father. And it's time for Joe Biden to acknowledge that fact and to, to extend the supposedly traditional Biden support, the Biden family solidarity should include a granddaughter. Yeah, you know, and the same guy that said they're all our kids, talking about kids. And actually, no, parents are, are the lead for, in terms of instilling moral values in their children, values that they believe in. In my view, that's their role. So we've been watching, and it's a theme I brought up all week. Now we're hearing from staffers and leaks about Biden's vicious temper. Maureen Dowd, USA Today, they write about this child and the outrage of it but only the, within the last week. Um, then we hear the story about drugs in the White House, uh, but there were tr two prior incidents. My question is, I'm beginning to see a pattern emerge of Democrats wanting to push this man out and not have him run in 2024. Am I wrong? No, you're absolutely right. And that would solve a lot of problems because it gets rid of the Kamala Harris problems. But I would add one qualifier, Sean. They're leaking things that are pretty much impeachable offenses, if they were true, in the case of the corruption. And they're le leaking things about cognitive disabilities that would naturally warrant a 25, 25th Amendment investigation. But notice they stop there. And they stop there because these leaks are intended to ensure that Joe Biden is not going to run and imperil their chances in 2024. But they want him to finish out this term because... They do not want Kamala Harris. So a lot of this is in main, aimed at Kamala Harris. Oh. Def, tell us the downside of Joe Biden so he doesn't run and we get somebody besides Kamala Harris in 2024, but not to the extent that there are actionable uh, worries that would uh, ten, attenuate the Biden term and give us Kamala Harris. So I think that's what's yeah. behind it. Exit question. What are the odds Joe and Kamala Harris are on the ticket for the Democrats in November of 2024? I would say about 25 percent. Wow. He's, he's you declining, it... Sean, at a, at a geometric rate, not arithmetically. He's one fall, one slip away from ending his presidency. So I don't see how it's I don't see how he's going to be able to do that. And well, I think that I, I've, been the I've been saying the same thing. Force multiplier of that reality. 
to, to have uh, Victor Davis Hansen say what I'd been saying, he's one fall, major fall away from being kicked off. I feel really good about myself because you're one of the smartest guys I know. So, <laughs> Victor, we love having you. Thank you, my friend. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.